Okay, have you ever considered hiking one of New Zealand's great walks? But you worry that you may not be fit enough or have the correct equipment? Our diet and fitness guest today will be able to answer all of those questions. Welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge travel writer Debbie Griffiths and John Pierce from Outdoor Clothing and Gear Store MacPack. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first up, John, let's start with you. You've been at MacPack for 26 years. Correct. And you must have seen a lot of people rolling in and out of that shop wanting to go and spend time in the great outdoors. Certainly have. So yes. what, what sort of help could they get from MacPack? Yep, well, I, we're lucky. We've got the full range, so we can look after people who are just walking the dog on the beach right up to climbing serious mounts in the Himalayas. Excellent, because, yeah, yeah you're not going to be wanting to wear your dog walking jacket when you go to the Himalayas. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you might be a little bit underprepared. So, Debbie, you're heading out to one of the great walks in New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, tell us where you're going and how you're preparing. Well, I'm doing the Hollyford track, so it's a three day walk. Day one is 19 Ks alone. Now, the good thing about Hollyford is that they give you a lot of online help and preparation. So, they tell you what gear you can expect to take and also what sort of exercise you need to do. So, for example, Walking, of course, lots of, <laughs> yeah. starting yeah. with yeah. about an hour each time, and then maybe putting a backpack on, about 6K weight in it, just to get used to carrying something, and working up till you're walking for about three hours at a time. So lots of walking. Every, every so often I'd rope the family in as well. We'd go for a family walk. As, yeah, yeah. So you will come and walk with your mother. <laughs> yeah. exactly. This is bonding time. Yeah, so it's been really great, really good fun pre preparing for it. Okay. So, John... When someone's heading out to walk without, like a great walk, like yep. Debbie's doing for the first time, what's on their absolute essential items? This, what, what do you need to have? Sure, I mean the first thing is we like to start, you know, with good footwear, mm. and I mean I think great walks are pretty good, but you're still walking over pretty uneven terrain, and you don't want to be slipping over. So good footwear. You'll enjoy it. So that's what we first start with. Right, so you need proper boots. You can't mm -hmm. just be wearing your, your running shoes. Um, I would I'd recommend proper boots. I mean, people do use running shoes, but um, you know, it is uneven terrain, and I think you'll enjoy it more with proper boots. Yeah, yeah. okay. Boots, first thing up. What yeah. else? And then if we walk our way, work our way up, I suppose, we go with gaiters. So, Ooh, that sounds fancy. so these, are, these are cool sort of things that basically keep all the grit and nasties out of your boots and out of your socks. I'd never heard of gaiters, by the way. This is all brand new to me. This You're going to look so fancy on yeah. this track, Debbie. Yeah, they've really got yeah. me sorted. They are, okay. they are a really practical thing, and you basically will enjoy you know, your experience a lot more. And, um, yeah, basically keep your socks clean and, your, and uh, stuff out okay, of your boots. Okay, so, so we're up to our knees and we're all yep. sorted out. What else do we really need to have okay, on the track? Okay, so the next thing is you, you want to have, um, <coughs> you know, nice warm neck-to-skin layer, so something to keep you warm, something like a, a geothermal here. Um, you know, this basically keeps you um, dry and warm in varied conditions. Okay. So that's next to Good your skin. Good thermal, next yep. to your skin. And then you're going to have a various top on, mm. depending on the, how warm the weather is, you know, a fleece top, um, of course. And if it's really cold, you'd probably have a, you know, a hat on as well. Good um, hiking <laughs> trousers like Debbie's wearing, so, or shorts, you know, depending on what uh, you're more comfortable with. But the modern hiking trousers, long trousers, they aren't restrictive, they're very mm. stretchy, they're beautiful to wear. Are you both wearing hiking trousers? Well, yeah, which one's these today? Just, <laughs> just coincidence, really. Yeah. I actually you wear, each them, other this morning, I wear them a lot for travelling and for, for general work, just because it's okay. so comfortable. So good trousers, and you obviously need a good jacket as yeah, well. Yeah, a good rain jacket. Drink it's, bottle, yep. backpacks, everything yep. that you need to go. Are you finding it worthwhile, Debbie, going and using all the proper gear? Has it made a difference to you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I didn't know what I was missing before I found the walking boots. I mean, these walking boots, they really support the ankles. So I thought, you know, grab the sneakers and go. Yeah. But of course, you really need to talk to the experts about the boots that you're using because it does support the ankles. And yeah, and as John says, it just it makes, makes such a, a nice experience. Yeah. Mm. yeah, if you've yeah. got the right gear. So John, I guess everybody at MacPack, pretty outdoorsy people. So what would be your advice for getting outdoors and being a bit more active? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think is. You know, the best thing is starting off in a small way, you know, like all things. Um, it's really achievable to do most things in the outdoors mm -hmm. as long as you start off in a small way, build it up. So short walks, you know, a lot of people start doing a bit in their lunch hour and build up to it. And then a lot of it is, I think, starting with when the, when the kids are small, you know, and it's a fun thing. You know, I, it started when I was little as a kid growing up and I've done it with my children. And in fact, it's a really positive family experience. Mm. They just love spending time with their parents. Mm. 
24-7 when you're away in the hills. They absolutely do. And you can you can talk to them when you're doing your walks. That's exactly. really good advice. Start exactly. with a walk around the block. Yeah. Thank you very much, John. Debbie, for Pleasure. coming in today. Looking forward to seeing your Hollywood track when you do that. Good. It's exciting stuff. Yeah. Uh, also, you can put a child in a backpack, which Macpack also have, and you can drag them around. Um, but when they get a bit big, it's a bit heavy for you. I've done that <laughs> many times. Very good fitness right. tips. And for another way to get fit, check out the Health Station VFit Special Cafe offer. Just call the number on screen.